How's it going everybody? My name is Dan, I'm 27 years old, and this will be my introduction to the vinyl community. Uh, I'll start off with telling you a little bit about myself. I live in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area of Minnesota, U.S. of A. I, uh, I play drum. I've been playing drums for about a little over a year now. I've been playing guitar for about 10 years. I play bass every now and then. Um, I've been buying vinyl records since I was about 16 or 17 years old. And I didn't actually start really becoming a collector, or at least buying vinyl at the rate that I do now, until I was probably like 24 or 25, so a couple of years ago. Um, yeah, um, most of the music I listen to would fall in the category of punk rock, hardcore, grindcore, power violence, uh, extreme music. I love extreme music. It's where my heart is. And yeah, I'm I'm really bad at introducing myself, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip that for now and start showing you some records. We got a pretty good stack over here. And I will start with this. This is the Charles Bronson split with Unanswered. And that's on Trackstar Records, and as far as I know, this is an original pressing, as it comes on the manila envelope with the logos glued onto the sleeve, like you can... Oh. Eh. Yeah, like... Kind of sucks, like, the only the only thing that sucks about this is when I'm trying to put this plastic on, it, it tends to get caught in the, in the logo and rips it off. But, uh... Yeah, pretty cool release, though. I like the Charles Bronson side. I haven't listened to the Unanswered side yet. There's the lyric sheets. Unanswered side. And it's on... Black Vinyl. Yeah, really happy to have this. Charles Bronson was one of my favorite hardcore bands when I was in high school, when I was getting into college. So yeah, really happy to have that. Let's see if I can get this in here. Eventually, one of these days. Yeah, putting the plastic on it tends to be a chore with this record. Alright, next one. I, uh, I collect certain record labels, releases, like I... I collect six weeks records, I collect uh, slap a ham releases, to live a lie releases, uh, stuff like that. So this record, I got the Capitalist Casualties split seven inch with the Dread, and this is cool, it's, I don't know if you can see that, six weeks records, number one, the first record this label ever put out. Love Capitalist Casualties. Uh, one of my favorite power violence bands for a very long time. Uh, the first 12 inch I bought actually was a Capitalist Casualties record. Disassembly line. Amazing album. But yeah, this record is. This is a good split. I. I never heard the Dread before buying this, so. And of course, I mean, I collect as much Capitalist Casualties as I can. Um. Yeah, good release. Both bands are pretty cool. Super happy to have this. Alright, next record I got is another 7-inch. The uh, split 7-inch with Miserine and PLF. Pretty Little Flower. It's a To Live a Lie release. I like the PLF side a lot. Uh, the Mezzarine side is okay. It's not the best, but I don't know. It's the only Mezzarine I've heard, so maybe some of their other releases are better. Um, that's what the inside looks like. Yeah, the PLF side is amazing. Um, I think two of these are even live recordings, and I'm not too big on live recordings, but some of these are pretty good. Uh, yeah, tra the third and fourth song are live on the PLF side. And a 
comes on. Kind of purple marble. If you can see that at all. Kind of hard to see on the webcam. I apologize for that. I love marble vinyl, by the way. It's so gorgeous to look at. That. The last 7 inch I'm going to show you is something I was really happy to get, not only because of how little I spent on it, but how amazing uh, condition it's in. Uh, this is a rare record. So, it wasn't cheap, but I didn't spend too much on it. Insect Warfare at War with Grindcore. Sorry about the glare. At War with Grindcore 7 inch on 65 records. 65 is another label that I tend to collect from. Holy shit, I love this 7-inch. So fucking good. Insect Warfare is really good grinding core from Texas. That's what the inside looks like. Just brutal. Brutal grind core. So fucking fast. So fucking good. If y'all don't know who Insect Warfare is, you should definitely just stop this video right now and look them up, because they are amazingly good. <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, a couple 10 inches I'm going to show you. Um, this is the King... Sorry about the glare. Uh, King Terror split with Agathocles 10 inch. Really good. Pretty good split. Look at all these labels that help put this out. Yeah, shove records, uh, chaos is ours. We told you to play fast. Yeah, really good split. I like the Gathically side is really good. Uh, the King Terror side is fucking phenomenal. Like it's basically just like just simple hardcore punk, no frills, no bullshit. It's on. Black vinyl. Yeah, I think I'm going to start collecting Agathocles, too, because uh, the two records I have by them now, this is the second Agathocles record I have. I also have the split with Violent Gorge. Both are really good. Yeah, buying Agathocles is kind of like a gamble. You're either going to get something really good, or you're going to get something just awful. Just... So, yeah, we'll see how long my l luck can last. Uh, last 10 inch is the Magruder Grind Crusher 10 inch. This is the reissue on To Live a Lie. Uh, not the best stuff from this band. I love Magruder Grind, but this this record is okay. Um, actually, the hip the there's a song in here called uh, Heaviest Bombing. It's the last song on side A. It ends with a really cool hip hop part. I really enjoy that. Um, yeah, it's, it's an alright record. It's worth, worth checking out. Alright, 12 inches now. I got the new I Self Divine album, The Sound of Low Class America. Uh, it's a pretty good album. It's a double LP. Both are on Transparent Blue. Um... And this album is interesting. I don't buy a whole lot of hip-hop albums, but I never see hip-hop albums that have lyric sheets. This album came with all the lyrics. I don't know if I just don't buy enough hip-hop albums, but yeah, I thought this was really cool. Yeah, it's got all the lyrics to the songs. Um, if you're looking to get into I Self Divine, I would not recommend starting with this album. I would recommend starting with... Uh, the Emperor and the Assassin by a group called the Micronauts. The Micronauts is I Self Divine and uh, DJ Cool Akeem. And that album, The Emperor and the Assassin, is one of my top five all time favorite hip hop albums. Actually, it's in my top three, I'd say. It's such a phenomenal record. Alright, before I get too sidetracked, this is Strung Up, Society Rotten Hell. Uh, pretty good hardcore punk, skate punk type stuff. Uh, I traded this a while ago, and I don't know why, but I'm really... I'm, I'm glad to have this back. It's a pretty good album. Um, strung Up. I think they're from California, which would explain... 
Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, if you're into skate punk, hardcore, stuff like that, check out Strung Up. Next record I'm going to show, Vitamin X, See Through Their Lies. Pretty good hardcore, straight edge punk rock, whatever you want to call it. It's in a, oh, sorry. It's in a gatefold. Got some pictures of the band, some stuff like that. It comes on transparent turquoise. I know that's really hard to see on the webcam, and I apologize. Yeah, it's like clear vinyl with just a touch of turquoise in there. Um, not their best album. If you're going to check out Vitamin X, get the uh, Down the Drain LP. Or the People That Bleed 7-inch. Those are my two favorite releases by Vitamin X. I saw them live in 2004, and... I thought they I thought they played fast on record. They played twice as fast live. So fucking good. Alright. Last record I'm gonna show you because I'm running out of time here. And I'm sure you're bored already. Uh, <laughs> th this is such a phenomenal record and I'm so happy to finally have it. Um, it's the last one. Discordance Axis, The Inalienable Dreamless. This is a grindcore classic. Must have if you're into grindcore. And this is out of print, too, I'm pretty sure. Um, I got this for a really good price, mainly because if you, if you look at the top, it's kind of beat up. There's some dents. Um, there's a cat scratch on it somewhere, but yeah, corners are kind of beat up but and it also i think the record also comes with a like a dvd size booklet uh this copy i got this on discogs this copy did not come with the uh, booklet so probably why i got it for so cheap but what matters to me is is the vinyl the vinyl's in perfect condition there's no skips it's super clean yeah sounds great and that's really what i care about So happy to get this. Discordance Access. If you don't know who these guys are, look them up right now, because you are missing out. <coughs> Excuse me. That's all I got for now. Um, I got some packages coming in the mail. I, uh, I pre-ordered the Robocop Detroit split from Give Praise Records, and I got a... Pretty big package from Vital Junkie coming, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys didn't fall asleep, hope you didn't bore you too much, and uh, yeah, maybe I'll make some more videos in the future, we'll see. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Take care, guys.